Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, Zizi is in the video. Say hi everyone. She's in the video because I am sat on the floor and as you can tell, I'm sat in front of my spin bike. So because I'm on the floor, that's her territory and she obviously wants to come up and say hello to me and say hello to you guys all. But anyways, let's jump into today's video. So I have a new video for you guys today and I wanna talk all about my Echelon bike. So if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't seen any of my other Echelon videos or haven't seen my decision of purchasing an Echelon spin bike for home, I actually have purchased the Echelon EX3 spin bike which is behind me and I have now had it for a little over two months. So I have made a number of other videos all about my Echelon experience so far and I have definitely enjoyed the experience and if you guys want to check those videos out before we jump into this one, I will link it up in the cards for you to check out right now or I'll link it down in the description of this video so you can check that out as well. But the Echelon EX3 spin bike was my spin bike of choice and I decided to buy it because it was the most cost effective bike for me. But now after having the spin bike for a few months, I have decided to venture out and try a few different things and that is what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to tell you guys all about my little hack, my little trick of how to use your Echelon EX3 spin bike with the Peloton app. So when purchasing my spin bike, I could have easily purchased a Peloton and then had the screen and had the app already built into it. But when I did the math on that, it ended up being just way too expensive. It was ridiculously expensive. The bike itself on Peloton is like over 2,400 pounds, I think. Like it's like 2,400 or 2,500 pounds or something like that. And the EX3 spin bike from Echelon behind me is only 1,200. Aside from the base price of the bike, the app itself, so meaning the classes that you pay for, either with Echelon or Peloton, Peloton ended up being more expensive. So the Echelon EX3 app that you can use, the Fit app that you can use for all the spin classes is only $34.99 a month. And that is something that you can decide to use or you can cancel on a month to month basis. It doesn't matter. It's not tied into the purchase of the bike. It's just a subscription you decide to use. But with the Peloton bike, when you buy the full bike and it has the screen, you have to pick their app, meaning their classes, and that's all you can pick. And what's crazy is when you buy the bike, which is 24, 2,500 pounds, you end up then paying 40 pounds a month for the subscription for the Peloton um, app, which gives you access to all the spin classes, other classes, etc. But it actually is so pricey when you look at it month for month on the Peloton side. So what I decided to do rather is I decided that I was going to use the Echelon spin bike, which is behind me, but I'm going to use it with the Peloton app. Now the Peloton app can be downloaded on any iOS device, any Android device. You can download it from any of the stores based on which type of um, smartphone you have. So I have an iPhone and an iPad, so I've downloaded Peloton onto my iPhone and iPad. But what's great about the app, so when you buy it standalone without the bike, it's only 14 pounds a month for the actual usage of the app. So when you don't have the bike, it's actually cheaper to use the Peloton app, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but for some reason, that's the way they work their business model. So it works out cheaper for you to buy a different bike and then use the Peloton app. So that's exactly what I did with my Echelon EX3. I decided to use the Echelon spin bike, but then the Peloton app. So I quickly wanted to talk about the differences between the Echelon app and the Peloton app. So the Echelon app has tons of spin classes that you can choose from. There's anywhere from like 20 to 30 to 45 minutes to 60 minute rides. They're led by the Echelon instructors. But as I've said in previous Echelon videos, they're all designed for a US audience. They have a very, very small UK audience that actually purchases their bike and uses it. So all their live classes, a lot of their just instructors and everything, they're all based in the US. So it's all based on US time zone. So that only matters if you like to do the live classes, meaning you're spinning live with the instructor and they're calling out your name on the leaderboard. But if you're not really that into it, then that's totally fine because I don't ever join the live classes and I still totally love my bike because there is on-demand classes in the Echelon app as well. So you can always do a spin class at your own time whenever you want in the day, you don't actually have to join a live class. The Echelon app also has a number of other workouts that you can take like bar workouts, some strength workouts, core workouts, uh, Pilates, yoga, 
you name it, they have a ton of other classes you can take as well. So all of that is included in your subscription per month. And on the other hand, the Peloton app is also really, really similar and you can expect basically the same things. So the Peloton app basically gives you the spin classes that you're looking for, running classes, walking classes, outdoor, indoor, Pilates, yoga, meditation. Um, I'd have to say that the Peloton app does offer a few more or let's say a larger variety of classes than Echelon. So I do enjoy that I can do like a meditation class one day or a stretching or a yoga class class. I can also do a strength workout. And what I really like about um, Peloton over the Echelon app is that the Peloton app has like programs so that they, so you know what to do on like, let's say week one, day one, and then they'll do a program for four weeks. So you can do like a strength program. And over those four weeks, the instructor teaches you different moves, um, which weights to use, all that kind of stuff. And I just really enjoy that part of um, the Peloton app. Another pro of the Peloton app is that honestly, it's design and the UI and like the experience of the user in that app is way better. Like I have to say that Peloton clearly is the winner here when it comes to usability and accessibility and how easy it is to use the app. Like I'd have to say saving classes, creating your favorites, um, coming back to classes that you've done before, the badges, the leaderboard, how far you've come, exactly which classes you've taken, all of that. Like just the general setup of the app is way better than Echelon. And again, I think it's just because Echelon is newer to the market. They really haven't put that much money into the development of the app. And so I'd have to say my experience of the Echelon app isn't as great as the Peloton app, but obviously Peloton's been around longer. So their app is a little bit stronger and better. So Peloton versus Echelon app. I'd have to say Peloton is the clear winner. They have more classes. The app is better designed. You can actually even preview classes before you decide to take them. So you don't have to actually just play a class just to see what type of music is on it. Also, that's one thing I have to point out is that Peloton does music way, way better than Echelon. I don't know why, but Echelon seems to pick music that's really outdated. Like a lot of their hip hop rides are hip hop from like the 90s or 80s. They don't ever have anything that's on the charts right now. And anyways, I'm just that type of person that likes to have a spin class where I'm dancing around and I'm really enjoying the rhythm of the class. And I have to say that Echelon does not have music like that. And also their instructors really don't spin to the beat. They don't really get up or down or increase the cadence or the speed of the track based on the speed of the track. They just kind of go at their own pace. And I just don't really like that. I like to be on beat. I like to make sure that I'm spinning to a current beat if there is music playing. So I have to say that Peloton does that much, much better. And if you want to have spin classes where you're dancing around, enjoying it, there's a rhythm of the, rhythm of the beat. They tell you exactly which cadence you should be at for, you know, the rhythm of that song. That's definitely where Peloton shines. So overall, I have to say that the Peloton app is miles better and it's even cheaper. So by paying for the Peloton app, I only pay 14 pounds a month versus the Echelon app, I'm paying over 34 pounds a month. And it just gives me way more options when it comes to types of classes, the music, and also just the instructors. It's so clear that Peloton has stronger, more experienced instructors than Echelon. Again, Echelon is a growing brand. There's nothing wrong with it, but they're just not at the level of what Peloton at. So I personally like the Peloton app. I really like the spin classes on there. I also have done the weights classes in there and I've totally done a meditation and a yoga class and I really just love the variety of classes on there and I personally think that I will probably stick to Peloton moving forward but still ride on my Echelon bike which is why I want to show you how I'm doing that and what I'm actually doing and my little hack of how you guys can buy a cheaper bike like the Echelon EX3 but still get Peloton classes and still keep up to Peloton classes with this bike and the Peloton app. Oh, one other thing I just wanted to let you guys know is that if you are deciding to use the Peloton app and do their spin classes, I would highly recommend getting a set of hand weights. So really light weights, it could be one kilo, maximum two kilos, I got 1.5 kilos. And having weights is so important in a Peloton class because almost every single one of their spin classes, they do an arm track, which is again, very common to how spin studios do uh, spin classes here in London. So you're gonna wanna have weights. Now, the Echelon does have a space for where you can keep your hand weights here, 
but I don't I didn't buy the echelon ones I just seemed a little bit overpriced and even the peloton ones are overpriced as well I actually got mine from sports direct and I will link them down below the only reason they're not here yet is because I'm waiting for them to be delivered but as I said most of the peloton app classes are always geared to arms workout as well so I would recommend getting um, some sort of light hand weights to add into your bike if you are going to use that app. So the one last thing that I want to talk about before I show you guys the setup of the bike and how you can actually use the Peloton app with the Echelon bike is that the Peloton and the Echelon have different resistances. So the Peloton bike is very traditional like a traditional spin studio bike and goes from zero or one to 100 resistance. So that is typical in Peloton. And when you take their classes, the instructors will usually scream out like, you know, 40 resistance or 60 or 20 or 80 or whatever the case is. And the only thing I would say that's kind of difficult, it's really not that difficult, but it's a little bit tricky, is that the Echelon bike only does resistance from one to 32. So that means that obviously it's not gonna be following the same resistance as what the instructor is yelling out to you. So what I would say is the easiest way that I do it personally is I just times it by three or divide by three. So for example, when the Peloton instructor is telling me, make sure your resistance dial is turned up to 30, for example. So when they say 30, I then pick about 10 on the Echelon bike because that's about one third. And then again, I just divide by three basically. So when they say 45, I say 15 as the resistance. Anyways, you'll start to pick it up and you'll start realizing what they mean by the level of resistance. It's really not that hard once you become a little bit more experienced with spin. But if you don't wanna do math while you are spinning, which I know sometimes it's hard for me and I'm actually gonna probably order this soon as well, I actually found Found something on Etsy that gives you like a breakdown of all the different um, levels on Peloton versus the levels on Echelon so they'll give you it gives you a total breakdown of like one on Echelon equals three on Peloton or whatever it is the breakdown is so clear and it's just like a table that shows you all this information so I'll link that down below in the description if you guys want to stick that on your bike somewhere or purchase it and then maybe have it near you so you don't have to do any math while you are Spinning. So yeah, I'd have to say the only real downside of using the Peloton app with the Echelon bike is the fact that you kind of have to do a little bit of math when it comes to adjusting the resistance. But like I said, it's such a minor thing and you'll start to get used to where people spin and what resistance works for you. It's really not that hard, but it's so nice having the cadence number so you know exactly which beat you're supposed to be spinning on for the Peloton class. What I really have to say is that the Peloton app, when you do download it, you get a 30 day free trial with it and I'll link down below where you can download the Peloton app from but like it is so nice that you get 30 days to really try it out so if you guys are on the fence or you guys want to try out you know the Peloton app and the Echelon bike I would just download the Echelon app and you get 30 days to try it out and then you can mess with the resistance on the bike and see if you know it really works for you and if it does then great and I personally see a huge benefit of using the Peloton app just because it gets me more motivated. I feel more in the zone and more excited with the music and the instructors. So I really, really have been enjoying it and it's been about 30 days of me using the Peloton app. But overall, it's been such a game changer for how I spin at home. Now, I still love my bike, so don't get me wrong. I think purchasing the Echelon over the Peloton bike was so much money saved and the Echelon EX3 is still a spin quality bike as in like if I were to put this into a spin studio this bike would probably look identical to all the bikes that I've ridden in in different spin studios so I have nothing bad to say about the bike itself it's just actually the app that I'm not the biggest fan of and that's what's so great about the Echelon EX3 is that because it doesn't have a screen I can then put my iPad onto the bike and use any other app. Obviously I'm using Peloton right now, but that doesn't stop me from using other apps in the future, which is really honestly so great. I really love that flexibility and I think it makes a massive difference to how you feel about, you know, spinning. So guys, let's jump in to showing you exactly how I set up my bike for taking a Peloton class, but with the Echelon EX3 spin bike. So guys, as you can see here, this is my Echelon EX3 spin bike. I have my iPad as well as my iPhone attached here. So in order to make this work, you guys are actually going to need two different devices because on my iPad, as you can see here, I have the Peloton app. 
And this is where you're actually going to play a class and this is where you're going to follow along for the class. But what you're also going to need is you're going to need to log in to your Echelon app and make sure that you select your equipment and you connect your spin bike, which that's mine. And then when it's connected, what you're going to want to do is go down to freestyle ride. So you go to more and then freestyle ride. And once you click freestyle ride, it should come up with the option of all of your information. As you can see here, there's the cadence, the resistance, the output. So what's great about this is as you ride along and as you start to see the class live here on the Peloton screen, you're gonna be able to change your resistance. So as you turn your knob here, you're gonna see that the resistance is also increasing, which is great, and then you can also decrease it. And as you pedal, you'll also see your cadence change and your output change. And then all you have to do is select a class here on the Peloton app and then hit start. So what's great is when you start spinning, you're gonna be able to see the instructor here, which I'll just start this for now, just so you can see an instructor. So then you can see here that they're going to play the class for you, but there's no stats on this screen because again, you're not connected to the Peloton app, but all of your stats are just up here now. So you're gonna keep following the stats up here, but you're gonna watch the spin class down here. So overall, this has really worked for me. And again, like I said earlier in the video, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're like your resistance is divided by three because they're gonna say, put your resistance up to 40 and this spin bike doesn't go up to 40. But overall, this is my layout for my Peloton app with my Echelon bike and it's worked really well for me. So guys, as I start spinning, you'll see here that the cadence is going up and my output is going up, which is great because again, the Peloton app will tell you exactly how much cadence and output you should be trying to achieve. And what's great about the cadence number is that it will be the same no matter which bike you use. So yeah, so when they say we want a cadence of 80 to 100, you just know to follow their lead on that one. The only thing you have to change is your resistance because again, the Peloton app is one to 100 and their spin bike goes up to a lot higher of a resistance versus the Echelon is only zero to 32. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you guys some information and some background into how you can use the Peloton app as a little bit of a hack and use it with your Echelon EX3 bike. I hope that you guys give it a go. If you do try it out and you enjoy it, please do leave me a comment down below letting me know which instructor on the Peloton app that you guys love the best. I personally love Tundi the best, but I'm always looking for new classes in the Peloton app. So please do leave me a comment down below of who your favorite instructor or class is. So guys, if you like videos like this and you enjoy this content, please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more content like this for you guys. And if you've made it this far into the video, please do consider subscribing. I upload two times a week on Wednesdays and Sundays and I would love it if you guys joined my YouTube family. So please do smash that subscribe button and make sure you turn on the bell notification so you know exactly when my next video is going live. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Bye.